Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a little get ready with me. I figured we could chat about some stuff and use some of the makeup that's in my purgatory. Oh my gosh, this Juvia's Place primer. Never, never get the right amount out of this thing. I swear, it's so annoying. But if you give it a little shake and you just dab off the excess, I guess, and then you just make it work. But I do really like this primer. I just feel like if you overdo primer, sometimes that can kind of wreck your makeup look too. Anyway, today I thought it would be fun to talk about mom stuff. The real topic I was gonna talk about was gestational diabetes and the test and just like my experience with it because I talked a little bit about it on Instagram stories and I was able to talk to a few moms out there and we were just kind of all talking about how this test is like so hyped in the kind of mommy world in the pregnancy world and so it was really funny because there was a bit of a twist in the end for me that I didn't quite see coming but I just thought it would be fun to share that experience with you guys if you are also first time moms or you're thinking of maybe having a baby. But hopefully it's kind of a good story to just share in general. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, just keep watching. I am going to try my Vive palette today. I've tried this once before, but I don't think I tried it on camera. It's a very neutral eyeshadow palette and I was convinced to buy it and I bought it and I haven't really been getting that much use out of it so I figured let me at least film a video with it, some kind of chatty video so that I could decide if I actually really like this palette or if it was kind of a fail for me because in my mind I was like eh, it's kind of a fail so I really want to know. <laughs> if I was just having like one bad experience or if this is like a very okay average palette. So far, it feels like a very okay average palette. You know, sometimes palettes that swatch okay kind of surprise you in application. So we'll see. These are very soft shades. Probably gonna be like a really pretty palette for like bridal looks, honestly. Not that I'm doing any bridal looks. Okay, so here are all the shades. We have So Shy, we have Carrot, we have Buff, we have Thea, we have Lava Rock, Glimmer, Chow, Cozy, Delicious, and Good Night. So a very, very neutral color palette. And I didn't want to stop my story, but I do like to swatch things and kind of tell you guys the shade names and stuff. So just wanted to get that out of the way. Everything else on my face I'll probably just put in the description box unless it's something I want to call attention to because there are some newer products that I'm testing out too. So anyway, those are all my like disclaimers. So I'm 28 weeks now and you do your diabetes test around the 26 week mark I think. And so I was feeling pretty confident. I've had pretty good, you know, experience with pregnancy. I haven't felt like I've gained any like extra weight. I mean, I'm sure I've gained weight. I haven't really been tracking it to be very honest with you guys, but I don't feel like it's been like an excessive amount. Not that there's anything wrong with any of these things. Like it's totally normal to change a few sizes and things like that. I just, this is my experience. So I'm just telling you guys just for funsies. This is just like a little story <laughs> that I want to remember, you know, 40 years from now when I'm old and gray. I feel like so far I've been doing a good job about like maintaining my health and, you know, getting in some exercise and eating some good food and trying to like manage everything. While that was all happening, I wasn't too worried about like my diabetes test or anything like that because I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm an average healthy person and I can't imagine having a gestational diabetes. So my dad's diabetic and I was like, oh, you know, I have to be careful. I've always kind of been careful just because like of my dad and stuff like that. And so it's definitely hereditary in our family. 
um, diabetes is. And so I just, you know, it's always been in the back of my mind that someday I could end up being diabetic. So I am also not like a big sweet tooth. So that helps because I feel like if I was a sweet tooth and I had a history of diabetes, it would really send me over the edge <laughs> as far as that goes. But so I wasn't really concerned about having like diabetes or gestational diabetes um, during my pregnancy. So the day that the test was happening, I was feeling pretty confident. I was nervous just because like you don't really know like what is gonna happen and like sure you could watch like YouTube videos and stuff like that but I haven't really done too much of that in my pregnancy like I've looked up like stuff for like infant care and just like oh what to pack in your hospital bag and things like that and me and my husband took like a safety class like how to like kid proof your house and just like little things like that but I haven't done like a ton of research of like what to eat or things like that so I was feeling a little bit worried because I'm like, okay, I should probably put in some time to research these things. Like, I'm a first time mom, like probably should get it together. Anyway, I didn't really do that much research. All I knew is you drink like a sugar water drink and you sit there and they take your blood and then they tell you if you passed or failed or whatever. So I was very delusional. I was like, oh, I'm totally going to pass. Like, I'm fine, there's no way, da 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 So we go in, get everything done. This is like the first doctor's appointment where my husband couldn't be there because we were also having our home inspection for our new house the same day because like we have no chill and we just schedule everything all at once because we're crazy like that. So he wasn't there, whatever. I was like, you know what, I can do this. Like I don't, I'm not, I'm, I'm an independent woman. I don't need my husband with me for every doctor's appointment, even though it's honestly very sweet that he's made the effort to do that. Let's be real, shout out to Rail, as always. Yeah. Went by myself, got it done, feeling fine, drank the drink. Now, let's talk about the drink really quick because I feel like for me, it wasn't bad at all. I think that maybe I'm just like underplaying how nasty it is, but honestly, it's not that bad. And I feel like pregnancy in general is so much like up and down pains and you know so many other painful things to come that I feel like having to drink like a small tiny bottle of sugar water is not the end of the world. All the nurses that I encountered were super nice, super patient. You know you do have to drink it in like a minute or so but they were super nice so maybe that makes a difference like having like an understanding person with you not some like mean lady just like being like suck it up drink it like I didn't have any experiences like that so if you did I'm sorry because that would suck but I felt pretty good about the people around me and stuff like that and they were super nice and so I drank my drink so it's really not that bad because they make it sound like you're gonna throw it up and honestly I don't think you're gonna throw it up unless you have like serious problem with gag reflex and the trick to me was just like don't think about it just just keep drinking and I got through it just fine. It was totally fine. So I personally think that people saying that the drink is really awful is a myth and you will be just fine. Like you're stronger than you think and it's gonna be fine. So I got through the drink, no problem. Everything was great. Went to my home inspection, met up with Rail, worked at the boutique, la di da di da. And then sitting at home outside, like letting my dogs out. And the hospital in our town has an app. And so they post your lab results to the app before your doctor even calls you sometimes. Again, because I was confident, I was like, oh, let me open it. And so I made the mistake of opening my results in front of my husband, which usually not a big deal, but the way the chart was it it clearly like said i didn't pass and uh, it didn't even say that i didn't pass it's just the way the chart was structured it definitely looked like i didn't pass which rail being a first time dad sent him into like a state of panic because he's like oh my god you failed you have diabetes like our baby is 
going to have diabetes and you should have been more careful. And he was just like very worried, which like I interpreted as you're blaming me for something that we don't even know is happening yet. Like you don't even know I have diabetes and you're making me feel bad, which like made me very upset. And so then the two of us just like immediately were just like upset with each other. Now looking back, it, it was silly. But at the time, it's like, you know, when you're pregnant, it's like you're already more emotional than normal. And so I expect, like, Rail to be the one that keeps me sane. So it was really kind of tough, like, to not feel like he was blaming me, which he really wasn't. But, you know, sometimes when you're upset, like, that's how you interpret things. So I kind of interpreted it as him, like, freaking out for no reason blaming me trying to make me feel like I hadn't been careful enough during pregnancy and he's like you're not getting enough exercise blah -de blah 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 just kind of sent me over the edge a little and I will say like my husband's been great this whole time so this was like a very little thing and it's not the end of the world but pregnant moms if you are about to take your test just just know that it's very possible that even if you don't have gestational diabetes you might fail the test. So from the research I did, which again, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, not a medical professional, it's very common to fail the first test. It doesn't mean you have it. It just is how they do the first round is to eliminate a majority of people with gestational diabetes. So if you pass the first time, that means you weren't even close. And then they have a more intense test, which is a three hour test, which really narrows it down but they do the one hour test just to weed out the majority of people so that was the next step again like I had talked to the nurse the next day because the hospital called me to tell me that I needed to come back in for a second test and they usually do it within the week so she was like oh have you eaten today and I was like no she's like okay well you can come in and do it now so that information I did find online too before the nurse called me so I knew that, but my husband, for some reason, was not understanding that it was going to be fine. Like, there's another test, and that test is the one that tells you if you have it or not. So we were kind of upset with each other. I'm just being honest. Again, not a bad person. Just sharing the story because I'm sure some of you might be able to relate to this. Anyway, I went in the second day. Now I'm going to try the Dior. Um, this is my Forever Skin Glow. I tried this yesterday, and I actually really liked it. So I'm interested to see how this will do because I'm going to go to work today. So I want to see if I'll like it working at the store. The eyeshadow palette, I will say, it was very lackluster. I don't know if I got a dud or what, but these shimmers, like compared to the metallics that I like, these metallics are so not exciting. And I really like the mattes, but... I couldn't see myself keeping this palette, honestly, compared to some of the other really pretty neutral palettes I own. So I would say if you've been eyeing this palette, I would pass on it because you can get a way better palette for way less money in the U.S. And I know some people are big Jamie Genevieve fans, but I feel like my first instinct about this palette was correct, which is that it's not very exciting. Like the shimmers are very lackluster. I even tried to like wet the shimmers and like build them up and it's so, it's so blah. Like looking at my eyeshadow makes me kind of sad. So I might actually put something else on top just to make it more jazzy, more jazzy. Maybe I should do some of this milk glitter. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so next I've been trying the Patrick Star One Size Concealer from Sephora. And this one I haven't really been that wowed by either. But I also haven't worn it a ton. So we'll see how this wears throughout the day. And of course my favorite, the Zoeva brush. I actually just got in two backups. I only had the one brush, so I was waiting to place a Beauty Bay order. To pick up some more of these brushes because they're so nice. I love the shape. This has quickly become my favorite concealer brush <laughs> in my collection. Ulta does carry it but they've been out of stock forever so just so you guys know as well. I've been loving this VK Beauty powder brush for powder so I'm just going to use my NYX finishing powder. 
and powder under my eyes. Okay, so I'm just gonna use one of these disposable wands to apply the melt glitter because I don't want to wreck a brush. I'm just gonna really pack that on. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this on my Poshmark really because it's not very good. <laughs> it's not very good. I swear my $10 Juvia's Place would give me a prettier makeup look than that eyeshadow palette did. That's where I'm at with that. Okay, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of the Patrick Ta eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. It's so creamy. Okay, so back to my story. So luckily, by the time the nurse got to me, I had not had anything, so I had been fasting enough time to go back into the hospital and do the more intense test. So I went in and they basically draw your blood so that they have a starting point. Then they make you drink 100 grams, I think, of sugar water, which is a little gross, I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot of sugariness, but it's, again, bearable. Not the end of the world. So you chug that, and then you just sit at the hospital for three hours <laughs> while they draw your blood every hour. So I was really miserable and not a happy camper. And again, like, Rail wanted to come with me and I was like, nope, because it's such a waste of your time. And honestly, we hadn't really made up at that point. I was kind of annoyed with him because he was still not really looking up like what the test was. And he was like, do you have it? Is it hereditary? Are you gonna pass it on to the baby? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It was very freaking out which I realize now is like a first time dad thing. It's not, because he was trying to be a jerk. So <laughs> I'm just warning you guys in case you have a similar experience, not to be as harsh as I was being with my spouse, because I uh, definitely could have made things a little bit easier for him, but I was wanting him to make it easy for me, okay? So let me just be real about that. I was trying to be like, hey, you need to take care of me, not me having to take care of you. Oh my gosh. I survived the three hours at the hospital. I ran over to get a sandwich because I had a massage. No, I had a facial schedule that day and I didn't want to, like it worked out, the timing was perfect. So by the time my test was done, I was able to get to my facial. And so I was able to kind of give myself a little treat after that long day of getting my blood drawn. <laughs> I kind of looked like I was at the hospital because I had those like bandages on my arms from getting my blood drawn, but it was fun. You know, it was like a little bit dramatic. I was like walking around. I felt like a badass because I had had so many blood draws and like, I don't know if you guys are like me, but when I was a kid, I used to be terrified of needles. And so my parents, I still remember, would have to chase me around a doctor's office to get me to have my blood drawn. I was pretty proud of myself that I handled that like a champ. Okay, I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Cosmetics blush palette. I think I'm gonna try the shade Fancy Pants. It's the shade over here. This is now available at Ulta. So if you wanted to get it not on her website, you could get it on Ulta. And if you have points, you could use your points. So just wanted to let you guys know, but I really like the blush shades in this palette. They are matte blushes, but you can always add a little bit of shimmer with your highlight and such. Anyway, where was I? So yeah, got my facial. I went and hung out with one of my friends. We did a little like furniture shopping because she bought a new house and we bought a new house. So I've just been like looking around. Not that I'm planning on buying any furniture really because we have everything and honestly I want less things in my new house. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> After getting this house clean for the cleaners like I've learned my lesson. Like I want to live a more minimal life. I don't care about decorations anymore. Like I'm done. Okay gonna go in with my current favorite Dior highlighter in Golden Glow I think this is called. Yeah. And this is such a nice subtle highlighter, so I don't feel bad when I put a ton of it on. Yeah, so I went out with my friend, hung out, talked about it, and I was getting the results in from that app, you know, and so I was like, oh my god, I don't think, I don't think I have it, I don't think I have it. 
And then my doctor, I think he knew that Rail was freaking out because he knows like he knows Rail and me obviously from our visits. And so he got back to me pretty fast and he was like, okay, from your test, it shows you don't have gestational diabetes. So I screenshotted it and sent it to Rail and I was like, see, I was like, you were freaking out for nothing. I don't even have it. And so then we made up. <laughs> we made up because I don't have it. And he had done some research on his own during the day about it. And so he had a better understanding and we were just like so happy to not have to worry about it because I guess all you can really do is like be careful about your diet and stuff. I had seen like a video once from a doctor that I follow here on YouTube. She has like a luxury channel where she said she ended up having gestational diabetes and she never expected it. And I know sometimes people have to like monitor and give themselves like insulin shots and stuff like that. And once you deliver, I believe all of that goes away. It's literally just during pregnancy because your body does some weird things like during pregnancy like everything's just like not always the same as when you're not pregnant so like for example I actually have a hernia on my belly button because I was telling my husband I was like why does my belly button look so weird like it's really sticking out it's never done that before and I was like oh it's fine like it's probably normal and then as soon as my doctor saw my belly button we were listening to the heartbeat he's like is that bothering you and I was like no I was like but it's really weird and sometimes it hurts he's like oh yeah it's a hernia he's like but it'll go away after baby and I was like what like I had no idea I've never had a hernia before so I was very shocked and then the other thing I've had is fibroid a fibroid that's developing and again he said that's very common with pregnancy just because of all the changes in your body sometimes that can happen so yeah just these little things that kind of could make you nervous but I mean I don't know maybe I just have like a really calming chill doctor but he's been like giving us advice and it's been good so far so I don't like really question anything and worry about anything which I personally think is a good thing because I don't want to be overly stressed out during pregnancy like I'd rather be chill and not worried and not stress myself out because a lot of the stuff you can't really do anything about it anyway so I don't have gestational diabetes the fib fibroid is being monitored again supposed to be gone once the baby comes and the hernia hasn't really bothered me that much so overall things have been really great I just got into my third trimester yesterday so yeah I feel like this is not the like the regular baby videos I don't really watch like pregnancy updates or anything like that uh, but I just thought maybe you guys would be curious and if you're not that's totally fine too I also wanted to play with this old palette and I'm trying to practice like doing more chatty get ready with me's and talking while applying makeup. Definitely feels like I still have a long way to go with that. Everything's been great so far and yeah we move in like a month and then hopefully I'll be able to pick up all the baby goodies that I wanted. Just wanted to say hi and try out this type of video. Like I said, I know not everyone's going to be interested, but that's okay. Got to try some new things every once in a while. I do have this sample of this new Ilia mascara. This is the fullest volumizing mascara. So that's going to be my last step for this video. But yeah, you guys have just been so sweet and kind. And I just love my subscribers, you guys. It's so wild i swear i feel like i have the best community on my channel everyone's so nice i hardly ever get mean comments and everyone's been so excited about the baby so i really really appreciate you guys for your kindness and if you have any like must-have baby products like if you're a um, new mom like and you have a newborn or you know, you have a few kids or whatever, whatever your second, if you're a grandparent and your kids have given you like this stuff, like advice, they're like, oh my God, mom, I'm so glad I have this um, product, like such a good find. Let me know down in the comments. 
Because like I said, we haven't bought a thing for our child. I have some clothes. Like people have given me some little outfits for her. And Rel's mom bought us her stroller and car seat, which was so sweet and generous. Uh, but yeah, any recommendations for things? I have us registered for like, I've heard the Shusher is amazing. I've heard the Boppy is amazing. I've heard the Baby Brezer Sterilizer is amazing. I watched a lot of videos from, I can't remember, I'm totally blanking. It's a YouTuber with a beauty channel, but she also has a baby channel. And so I've been watching her. I've been watching a lot of makeup by Molly because she has a, she has a like a non-makeup channel though. But it's been so funny because I swear just through YouTube, there's so many YouTubers that are do and like just people that I'm friends with that are due around the same time as me. But Casey Holmes, if you guys follow her, she's due around the same time as me. Uh, there's another girl I follow out of California. Her name is Shaylee. Um, she's due in November. So it's just so funny. Like I knew being a parent was going to be a life changing experience. And so it's so fun to see other people kind of go through it um, the same time as you. And yeah. I'm just always looking for recommendations of things I should probably pick up and things like that. So yeah, that is it for this video. Like I said, I'll link most of the products on my face if I can remember them. And this Vive palette was definitely not a favorite for me. So I definitely can see myself getting rid of that. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys.